Hey everybody, my name is Alex with Hick Hardware, and in this video I'm going to go over how to enable the RDP, or Remote Desktop Connection, for Windows 11 in Proxmox. So this guide picks up where my Windows 11 VM creation guide ends. So if you haven't done that one, you can click the prerequisites link here for that, and you can go through the steps to create the VM. And then once you're done, you can go to this guide and enable the RDP. And I highly recommend enabling the RDP. It's just a much better experience. Alternately, you're going to likely be in the console here within the Proxmox. And there's just a, a delay with the mouse uh, clicking anywhere. It's just kind of a exhausting uh, like feedback that you get here. So highly recommend it. And as long as you have Windows 11 Pro, you'll be able to enable the RDP. So actually, the first step is to come into the console here and go to the search bar and just type in settings. And you're going to go to settings. Then you'll go to system on the left hand side here. And then you'll scroll down to remote desktop. Now I have mine already enabled, but you would just click this, click confirm, and remote desktop is now enabled. And you can log in to this host via remote desktop. But to log in, you need to know the IP of this. And you can typically find that in the summary. If you have the QEMU agent running, it should list the IP address here. So we'll just copy that. And then we're going to bring up remote desktop. So let me just get that shared for you. And we'll add the window. All right, let me just bring it down a little bit. Okay, so this is where you would paste in the IP address. It's already correct for me. And I've already logged into something else, so it has my username, but you may wanna click show options. And then you can put in, typically it's gonna be the email that you used or the username that you used when you created your Windows 11 virtual machine. And I always change my desktop to 1920 by 1080. Um, you can change it to whatever you think will work for you. It might depend a little bit on the resources that you have available within the VM, but usually 1920 by 1080 works fine for me, and it gives me like a really nice sized, nice size display. So I'm going to click Connect, and you don't see it, but it has me type in the password here. I'm going to click OK, and then the VM pops up. And I believe you should now see my Windows VM. And I'm actually logged into my VM and I'm able to use the remote desktop. And you can see it's much quicker if I you know, do anything like opening up any of these things like the File Explorer. It's super quick. I can move around really easily. It's just a way better experience. So that's it for getting the remote desktop enabled. If this video was helpful, please feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.